Ah, nice to see you. Rest assured, chum. I have my eye on Floofty. Farewell. Thank you.
okay. Ah, oh. Lou says I'll need to activate these statues by feeding them the snack they represent. <sighs> Fine. You catch half, I'll catch the other half, and we'll meet back here. You're okay. You are okay, right? No drowsiness, numbness, or missing limbs? Uh, sorry. <laughs> uh, don't mind me. I got the rest of the snacks. Okay. Next she says... Oh. She says we need three grumpuses to do the final step. No. This mountain is unstable. The more of us there are stomping around up here, the more likely it is we'll cause a disaster. I can't let anybody else get hurt for my sake. I feel bad enough involving you. What would Lisbert do? Ask Philbo. Liz trusts Philbo for some reason. I'll wait for you here. Watch your step on the way back down, okay? <laughs> Ask, I'll wait for you here.
Don't worry, buddy. So you do? With what? <gasps> really? Oh, buddy, say no more. I am there. This is a, this is, this is a big mountain, huh? A lot of, oh, a lot of steps. Oh, Grump, I knew this was a bad idea. Oh, no, I'm fine, really. Oh, hey, you look just like my friend Agabel. Agabel! Oh, it's really you! Oh, you're here, alive, and not dead! Yes, it's me, Philbo. Calm down, you'll hyperventilate. Huh? Oh, okay. Okay, uh, yeah. Um, oh. are you coming back to Snacksburg? Come on, get up. Let's get this door open before altitude sickness kicks in. Oh, Agabel, it's so good to see you. I can't believe you've been up here all this time. You're so, uh, different. That's right. The soft little Agabel you knew is gone. Yeah, you really came out of your shell, huh? <laughs> hey, um, so why do you want my help? I thought you would have asked Chandlo. Chandlo's got Snorpy to worry about. Besides, you've been following Liz around for years. What? I don't follow her around? Uh-huh. Point is, I know you care. And since I need three grumps, you might as well be one of them. What is that thing? Liz thought it might be some kind of ancient temple to bug snacks. Oh, uh, wait a minute. If this door takes three of us to open, how would Lizbert get inside by herself? What makes you think she's behind it? Because she has to be. I looked everywhere else. Well, it, it definitely looks important. How do we, uh, get in? Right. We need to stand here, here, and here. On three, we push. This is it. Ready? One, two, three! Oh, Grump! I could have killed us all! What did I do wrong? Hey, hey, it's okay, Agabel. That was kind of scary, but we're fine. We'll just try it again and- No, I'll try it again. You two are going home. Agabel, I want to find Lizbert just as badly as you do. You don't have to do this alone. Yes, I do. I'm a burden to everybody around me. That's why she's gone. W what do you mean? I was being stupid. And I slipped up on the cliffs while I was trying to show off. The earthquake hit and, and I was going to fall, but Liz saved me. Like she always does. She got swept away and then the ground opened beneath her and it, it swallowed her up. I'm so sorry, Agabel. Don't be. I'm used to it. Please just go. I can't stand to see anyone else hurt. <laughs> you know... When I was looking for Lisbur, I got really hungry. I, I couldn't catch bug snacks, so I tried eating this purple flower, but then I threw up. And then I went blind for a bit, and then I fell in a hole. And, and, and by the time I dragged myself out of there, I, I was so tired and hungry I could barely move. That's when we met, buddy. Philpo, th that's awful. <laughs> it was. Because, you know... I, I can't make it on my own like you and Lizbert. And it's times like those when I could really use a doctor. <laughs> All right. I get it. I need some time to think. I still want to figure out what I got wrong. When I do, I'll come find you. And then we'll find Liz together. Thank you, Philbo. Stay safe.
<laughs> Yo. Thanks for the help. Nice to see you. See you later. How you doing? Yes, yes. Hello. Cheers. Well, hello there. Rest assured, chum. I'm afraid we went after the wrong target. The mountain is now more active than ever. But the good news is I've isolated the source of this seismic activity. The bad news is it's on the frosted peak, and this time I've no idea what it might be. Be on your toes, chum. This one could get messy. <laughs> Though you may need help lighting them. Ha ha ha! It's the last place the Grumpanati would expect me to be. That, and 
I'd hate to make you do such a dangerous mission alone. Here we are, at the source of the seismic readings. But where is the cause? Hmm, it's still a little dark in here. Perhaps you should light that suspicious candle. him down on us. According to my readings, it's still around here somewhere. 
We'd better go find it and finish the job. Sights. What say we take the cake? Activity has ceased for the moment. No, for a secret weapon that is a little lacking in subtlety. Who do the Grumpanati think they're fooling? I mean, honestly, what natural evolutionary process could possibly result in a birthday cake? 
But no matter. Feed me the cake legs and we can leave this dreadful mountain. Daddy cake legs. Rest assured, chap. Birthday indeed. Thanks to you, we saved the island. Now let's hurry back to Snacksburg post haste. My paws are about to freeze off. Snorpy, what the grump? You climbed up the mountain? Without me? Grumping, why? I, I, I wish I could tell you. Then tell me! I'm done playing games, dog. You could have died up there. And then what would I do, huh? I'm sorry, Chandlo. That was not cool. Just... I gotta chill out. You figure out when you're ready to talk to me. I know he hates being in the dark, and I hate leaving him there. I want to tell him everything, but I don't want to lose him. Is that really it? No. No. Uh, the truth is, I don't think he'll believe me. But now it seems like I might lose him whether I tell him or not. So congratulations, Grumpy Naughty. You win.
Tuyệt bớ Okay. I need some time to think. Oh? Uh, uh right, right. Uh, you are a journalist after all. Honestly, I'm nothing special, but if you really want to know more about me, I'll answer your questions. Dr. Agabel Batternugget, M.D. Well, in school I focused on endocrinology, but the clinic I worked at was so small. In practice, I wound up doing family medicine. Come on, you know why. Lizbert said I didn't have to come, that she'd be back to see me whenever she could, but I wasn't gonna let myself get left behind. They're a perfectly balanced source of nutrition with upsetting side effects that are otherwise harmless. They make me feel like, for a little while, nothing else in the world matters. And that can be nice sometimes. Wait, you're allergic to bug snacks? What have you been eating all this time? This isn't a joke. Malnutrition can lead to muscle atrophy, slowed immune response, and even depression. Mm, I'll give you a checkup once we've brought Liz back home. We've covered that already. Allergic to bug snacks? What have you been eating all this time? 
Okay, good. It's not the healthiest diet long term, but Gramble and Shelda are doing all right. Mm, I'll give you a checkup once we've brought Liz back home. <laughs> I know everything about Liz, but somehow she's still a mystery to me. It's been like that since day one. I was working at my clinic in the middle of nowhere, thinking about how, once again, I didn't have any plans for the weekend. When Elizabeth Megafig literally kicked down my door and immediately passed out. Her injuries were pretty serious. Bone fractures, full body contusions, and way less blood than she ought to have. When she was conscious again, she told me all about her adventures. The ruin collapse that nearly killed her. The treasure of Grumsylvania. Everything. The second she could walk, Liz tried going right back to those ruins. I couldn't stop her, so I decided to go with her. Just to make sure she'd be okay. And one amazing adventure later... I quit my job and left town with the love of my life. Oh, we're done? Well, thanks for keeping me company. Hey, uh, you know how to use the projector, right? Here, take this. It's nice to look back on the good times once in a while, and I think you'd like to see it. Well, I'll, I'll get back to it. Stay safe out there. Spring. How? You ever notice how they're to the little one? Bye! Uh, chum, I need your help with a matter of grave importance. You see, my seismic readings have been off the charts today, and I fear something terrible is happening just off the coast. Chandlow and I are headed to Simmering Springs to investigate, and I'd be greatly reassured if you could join us. You see, my son Chandlow and I... Splendid! Meet us there whenever you get the chance. In the meantime, we have preparations to make. Chandlow! Ready the sunscreen! <laughs> How's it? Dang it! Beach party? Need me to sunscreen your back, Snorpdog? 
No, no, no need, Chandlo. I'm well protected. I can tolerate the horrible sun for at least a few minutes. You sure? I could check if you missed a spot. <laughs> Best to keep our wits about us. This seismic event could happen any moment. Oh, oh, oh. Bro, what was that? They're not usually this intense. An anomaly, to be sure. But it ended surprisingly quick. Oh, oh, oh. It's a new island, dog! We gotta go over there! Uh, must we? Uh, um, yes, uh, of course. Uh, but, but surely this job is bigger than the three of us. We need to form a miniature expedition. A gathering of our finest scientific minds. Of course, that means Triffany and... Floofty. Ooh, get Shelda, too! Shelda? Well, she's hardly qualified. You said you want the finest minds, and Shelda's loaded with wisdom. Bam! Team assembled! Oh, I suppose she is an herbalist, and the closest thing we have to a doctor without Eggabel around. Very well. Tell Triffany, Floofty, and Shelda to come to the beach. Chandler and I will stay here to prepare a way across. Get hyped! Bro, I thought Snacktooth was a challenge, but this new island's calling my name, and nothing's gonna stop me from answering! Frankly speaking, an island rising with this level of speed and precision is a geological impossibility. Which leaves what? A giant pneumatic piston? Some sort of pulley system attached to the firmament? The queen of bug snacks? No, 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 no. I need to check my charts. Greetings. Try not to do anything too stupid. Hey, buddy. Prompto. Hi. Yeah. Nice to see ya. I suppose so. There's only one more place mentioned in Grandma's journal. We've got a head for the Frosted Peak. <laughs> We're almost there. Almost caught up to Grandma Lotta blog. Grandma writes about the view from the top. Means we ought to start climbing, don't you think?
You know, I've never means. Grandma writes about the view from the top. This is it, all right. This camp had to be one of Grandma's. And I'm thinking that could be her right there. It'd be a fitting way to go, staring out over the land she loved exploring. And what's this snack? Maybe a last meal or... Wait. Even when I was a kid, Grandma didn't have too many teeth. This can't be her. Unless... Ooh. Unless I'm remembering wrong. Or she got spares? It's been so long, I suppose I can't say. If I want to be dead sure, I need an expert. Sorry to say, Professor Lotterblog, but you and this charming specimen are not related. Oh, well, that's all right then. Thanks for the help. May I keep it? I could use a few more skeletons in my closet. <laughs> Go ahead. It doesn't really matter now anyway. I'm not doing too good. I'll never know what happened to my grandma. The end of Bronica Lotta blog is a big blank spot in history. There's nothing left of her here. Just like everybody else who came to this island, 
A place where you go to be forgotten. A place where I'll be forgotten. But, you know, maybe at least the bug snacks will remember me. What? Hmm. So an unknown piece of geography has erupted from the ocean, unexplained and unstable, likely to sink again at any moment. So of course I'm going. I will gather my equipment. I do. Islands don't just pop into being every day, you know. I got no business left here, so I'll go on ahead and meet you on the beach. Yum. You're asking me? <clears throat> well, of course, your need for guidance is great. Despite the peril, one will show you the path. And that scary little island. If it's what I think it is, there's something there I need to see. So soon, we're not quite ready. Uh, we could use another few days of assessment. What are you talking about, Snorp Dog? We got the raft ready in record time. Let's go get everybody. <sighs> of course, Chandlu. All righty, I'm here and ready to explore. Ooh, nice work on that raft there, Chandlu. Thanks, Brophany. Indeed. 
if it is not more than a finely crafted tomb for the foolish wanderers. Of course, Snorpington can get volunteers. Ah, oh, but it seems a vagrant has wandered into our expedition. Snacksburg is that way, Shelder. <gasps> Be still, your wicked tongue. One must show respect to one's elders. I will respect you as soon as you do something respectable. No, oh, you think so highly of yourself that you alone are they who can know the unknowable? No, you bring ruin to all that you touch. Ruin to Egabel, ruin to Elizabeth, ruin to your own flesh and blood. I'm starting to think this might not have been the best idea. You know, six folks is a lot for one raft. Maybe one of us ought to stay back home? Which one? Uh... We're all going. Me and Snorpy can hold it together. Actually, Chandler, uh, well, I was thinking you and I should stay here and supervise. What? Bro, why'd I build all this stuff if we're not going? Don't you want to know what's on the new island? Well, of course I do, but look at that thing. That island is a death trap. Come on, Snorp Dog. It's probably fine. Look, I gotta go out there. They need me. Yes, somebody needs to caddy the septuagenarian. Shut it. You can go if you must, Chandlu. But I'm staying here. But bro, we do everything together. What if something happens to you while I'm gone? Me? Well, I'll be on this lovely beach. What if something happens to you? Yes, yes, you can both be struck by a meteor at any moment. Honestly, they do this every time Chen Lo goes to check the mail. Can we stop wasting time and get on with this expedition before I'm as old as Shelda? <clears throat> you two are like mirrors, reflecting endlessly. One must look away from the infinite abyss and gaze down only at oneself. What? Oh. Far be it for me to give anyone life advice, but there's nothing wrong with a little time apart. It's healthy, even. All right. If you all say so. Don't worry. I'll be in radio contact the entire time. And I've got trackers on at least three of you. Right. Okay. Then let's get this party started! <laughs> Bro. I'll let you do the honors. Just jump on the raft when you're ready. As usual, it is up to me to do a majority of the heavy thinking around here. Let us not be distracted by interpersonal dramatics when a cacophony of scientific curiosities has been dropped in our laps. This group is a little... Uh... Volatile, but I'm sure we can put our differences aside for the sake of learning, yeah? If one is fated to brave a den of inevitable tragedy, one would prefer to do so in better company. All right, chum, if worse comes to worst and you're surrounded by grumpinati agents, shout the code word and I will set off a flashbang hidden somewhere on your body. Don't worry, it should be perfectly safe as long as you don't say the code word at any other time. Good luck! Oh, it's okay, Chandlo. Snorpy's gonna be fine. Time apart is healthy. All right, Snorp Dog. We made it to the other island. We found some kind of reef cove thing to land on. Chandlo, listen to me. It's very important. You need to understand that remote detonator. Snorpy! Oh, Grump, the radio's broken. 
No, no, I think we're just out of range. Or there could be some interference going on. Oh, how unfortunate. I suppose we will have to proceed without Snorpington's so-called supervision. But maybe we should go back and tell him? It'll only take an hour. The threshold is crossed. It cannot be uncrossed. And if you think I'm spending another minute on that plank of wood today, <laughs> you are dead wrong. Yeah, you're always right, Shelda. Snorpy knows we got this. He'd want us to keep exploring. Huh. Looks like there's a way across up there. Let's check it out, bro. <laughs> Light that thing up? I bet Snorpy's trip shot could do it. Nice! Last one across is a rotten angler! maze carving with moving parts and everything well whoever built it put it directly in our way chenlo you excel in brute force destroy this you got it floof dog call me floof dog again and see what happens now hold on hold on there let's not go smashing the priceless antiques just yet looks like you could fit your buggy ball down there in the entrance I bet if we solve this maze, something real interesting is gonna happen. <laughs> Gosh, this thing's been waterlogged for a thousand years and somehow the parts are all still moving. <gasps> Wish my husband was that reliable. That's odd. Somehow big puzzles didn't make it into the stories. <laughs> <clears throat> ah! But what a wonder it is to behold the divine workings of one's ancestors. Yes, yes, how impressive. Some very dead grumpuses figured out how to move rocks up and down. Please solve this so that we can find something interesting. Whoa, this thing's like a super huge old pinball machine. Dibs on the next game, bro. to mention the water damage. If that's just the door, who knows what historical goodies we'll find inside there. was underwater not that long ago. I can even see evidence of civilization from who knows when. Oh, check out that impressive looking temple up there. One is more concerned with the ominous crater that lies beneath. If my eyes do not deceive me, 
I believe I've spotted new varieties of bug snacks as well. New bug snacks? Sick! Think they could be dangerous? There's an easy way to find out. Well, uh, before we get too ahead of ourselves, we might want to set up a base camp. A wonderful idea. One could use time to... Ah, uh, recenter. Five minutes in and you already need a nap. Leave the labor to the protective members of society, then. Oh, please don't start this again. Bros! Come check this out! You seeing what I'm seeing? It's bunger time! Excellent. Why don't you go and fetch it for us, Chenlo? Way ahead of you, dog! Oh, dear. You better go follow and help him out. We'll stay up here and start setting up camp. <laughs> One wonders at every second what revelation this accursed land could possibly contain that would be worth suffering a mere ten minutes with floof tea. Not a grump in saying that's what. If what Shelda has to say is so monumentally important, then why does she waste time making her speech so farcically obtuse? Employing sesquipedalian jargon is rudimentary. The hard part is make brain no big think. Gosh, from the moment they met, Floofty and Shelda sure have hated each other. As I recall, Shelda said, Greetings, child. And Floofty said, It is unlikely we are related by blood. Therefore, I am not your child. And things kind of escalated from there. Is it just me? Or is that bunger way bigger than normal? Oh! Ooh! Ow! My muscles and my bones! Where am I? I hit some kind of statue room? Looks like she's holding a thing. I don't know what that is! Throwing it at the big bunger. Maybe that'll do something. Whoa! It stops being big. I bet it's small enough to catch now. Bunger! All right, bro. You got bunger. I got hunger. Now bunger me, bro. Bunger. Hi. Yeah. So good. That's a whole meal in one bite. We gotta tell the others about this. Plus, I should probably help unpack. Did you all see that? Giant bug snacks. Even the bungers out here are as big as Mama Melon. Gosh. We might be witnessing a prehistoric species somehow preserved at the bottom of the ocean. Aha! Uh -huh. That would align with my theory on the correlation between age and size. The lost sister of Snacktoo lies unburied. Yet you marvel at the engorgement of the toxins that dance on her grave. The lost what, now? Tell me, Chenlo. How did you come to capture this specimen? We found a jar of some kind of small dust. It came out of this old lady statue thing. A statue, eh? What did it look like? Like a big friendly grumpus lady with flowers all around her. Uh, no, 
That sounds like it could be a shrine to Mother Nature. Whoa! Zelda, that's your thing! No, 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 no! Ah, but why would Mother Nature, noted despiser of bug snacks, be dispensing bug snack catching equipment? Hmm? Zelda, your god is a hypocrite! Silence, you wretch! The mother guides! The mother protects! If you so doubt, then one will wield the light of truth against your blasphemy! Okay then. I guess Shelda's gonna go check out those shrines. Uh, meanwhile, I gotta go take a look at all the ruins around here. There's so much ancient history to uncover. I'm giddy just thinking about it. I am fascinated by this shrink spice and its effects on snack matter. If I can determine exactly what it's made of, I'm certain we will have much use for it. All right, bros. I know I'm not a scientist, but I got a hypothesis. If this island can make Big Bunger, can it make Big Chandlo? That's not what a hypothesis is. Honestly, what does my brother see in you? Oh, hush. I'm sure it's worth a try. Well then, let's get to it. <laughs> Gosh, from the moment they met, as I recall. Oh, thank goodness you're here. I'd say it's high time we get to exploring. I see another maze blocking the way deeper into the jungle. I bet if we solve it, we'll find something real exciting. I'll go ahead and make my way over to the maze. Meet me there when you're ready for some puzzling. <laughs> Seems like this is as far as I can go. I wonder if there's a way to get rid of this wall. Whoa! That was a close call! I gotta be honest, in all my years of archaeology, that was my first run-in with a giant rolling ball. nice to be away from the others for a minute. The arguing can be, uh, distracting, you know? Oh, well, I think Shelda's got a lot to teach us. It's just exhausting to get a real answer out of her. Then she can be, uh, tad judgmental. Gosh, I don't know. I feel like I ought to be taking more of a leadership role out here. 
but I do all my best work when I'm alone. <clears throat> but why talk about all that unpleasantness when we could be neck deep in some dusty corpses? <laughs> the maze is right there. Gosh, from the as I rec I bet there's Jackpot! Oh, oh. Let's go inside, scan around, and see just what kind of ruin this is. <laughs> Judging by what we've seen, I'd say this was a communal living space. One of the few that wasn't utterly destroyed anyway. And gosh, technology and culture are so much more advanced than what we've seen so far. This city must have been the center of Stone Grumpus society. And at the very center, the temple, possibly led by a priestess of Mother Nature. Hmm, that's a great question. There's definitely easier ways to lock a door. <laughs> but seeing as this was the height of their craftsmanship, it's possible they built those mazes just to show off. I don't know too much, 
but I'll say it's one of the world's oldest practice in religions. I'm sure Shelda could tell you more about it. But on that subject, it's odd I never saw hide nor hair of Mother Nature back on Snacktooth. It's possible she showed up relatively late in their culture, adding to the existing worship of bug snacks. Oh, I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> never look a gift temple in the gateway, as Grandma used to say. <laughs> I'll meet you by the entrance, yeah? <laughs> like this is as far as I can go. I wonder if there's a way to get rid of this wall. Whoa! Remind me to ask Snorpy for one of those grapplers. the camp from up here at a nice safe distance anywho there should be a mechanism here that'll get us through that door might be a bit of a jog though
Some fancy footwork. Oh, wow. 
Okay, this time the ancient architects were definitely showing off. But you know, this ludicrously complex maze tells me that whatever's in the temple beyond is just that important. So you know the drill. Let's get to solving. <laughs> If we want to see what's in this temple, we gotta solve this ridiculously huge maze.
willpower not to just jump in and do it myself. Anywho, the way is open, so let's get going. <laughs> Well, that's a kick in the teeth. So much for seeing the temple. Judging by the bodies, this collapse must have happened when folks were still living here. Maybe the crater is connected somehow. Come to think of it, we didn't find a single corpse back in the commune. Where'd all those grumpuses get to? Well then, I'm not about to let this mystery go unsolved. I've just got to roll up my sleeves and clear this rubble myself. Oh, no, no, we don't need to trouble everybody with all this. I know my way around ruins. I'll be just fine on my own. You just leave this to me. Go on about your day, and I'll have it done in a jiff, okay? You just leave this. not going too good. I'm starting to worry I might never see the inside of this temple. I don't know, maybe he could. But if I put him in any danger, Snorpy's gonna hear about it. And then I'll hear about it every day for the rest of my life. Knowing them, they'd go and whip up some chemical that dissolves rocks and only takes three-fourths of their blood to make. It's safer for them if I don't ask. I could be, but I don't know that I need even more riddles to solve. Besides, I've heard the sounds her back makes. She could really use a lie-down. Oh, I was afraid you'd say that. Sure. Teamwork would really help out here, but those grumps can't go more than an hour without starting a big fight, and I, uh, I just freeze up. You know, I'm an expert in my field and all, but I'm not a management type. It's better if I just concentrate on my work and let them cool off on their own. To be honest, no, I don't. These kind of spats, they just fester and grow, and before you know it, civilization collapses. Look, some folks just don't get along. Some mysteries just go unsolved. There's nothing I can really do about it, but at least we gave it a shot. I'll see you back at the camp. Don't mind me. 
I'm just stewing on what might be inside that temple and whether the others will actually help me get it open. You know, for all his faults, Philbo's always willing to throw himself in the crosshairs to stop a fight and get everybody back on track. Whew. That's something I wish I could do.